Welcome to 1040 Easy 101 with Lauren Burke and John Marqueo. How you doing, folks? Today we'll be talking about what a 1040 Easy income tax form is, who qualifies for it, and how to file it. Meet Bill. Bill is thinking, what is a 1040 Easy? The 1040 Easy is a short form income tax document. It is the simplest and easiest way to file your taxes if you qualify. Now tell me, Lauren, who qualifies? You can't have any dependents. You can't have taxable income over $100,000. You cannot claim itemized deductions. And your taxable interests must be under $1,500. So that leaves Bill. Let's get started. This is a close-up of the 1040 Easy form. In slot number one, Bill puts in his accumulated wages, salaries, and tips made in the past year. In this case, he made $60,000. In slot 2, Bill enters his taxable interest. If it's over $1,500, then you cannot use the 1040 Easy form to file your taxes. Bill made $1,000 of taxable interest this year. Slot 3 is directed towards people who are unemployed or citizens of Alaska. If it does not apply to your situation, then you leave it blank. Bill lives in Boston and is employed. He puts in $0. For slot 4, you add up lines 1, 2, and 3 to get your adjusted gross income, or AGI, for the year. Bill has an AGI of $61,000. Moving on to slot 5, since Bill is not a dependent and is single, he puts $9,750 into the space. This is his standardized deduction. In slot 6, Bill subtracts slot 5 from slot 4, giving him his taxable income. Bill fills in slot 7 with his federal income tax withheld is the amount of money that his employer has taken as income tax. This can be found on Bill's W-2 form. Bill does not have to fill in Section A because he did not earn income credits or non-taxable combat pay this year. If this does apply to you, fill it in. On line 9, you add Sections 7 and 8 to get your total payments and credits. For Bill, this comes to $5,000. Line 10 is your tax. Here you use your taxable income from line 6 and using marginalized tax brackets, you find your calculated tax. We will help Bill with this in a little bit, but for now we know that Bill's tax is $8,741.25. If line 9 is greater than line 10, you fill in the difference in line 11A. This is your tax return. However, Bill's line 10 is greater than line 9, so this does not apply to him. If line 10 is greater than line 9, like in Bill's case, you subtract them and put that number on line 12. That is the tax that you owe to the government. What if Bill gets married? How will his taxes change? Well, assuming Bill's wife makes no money, then lines 1 through 4 will not change. In line 5, we use a standardized deduction for married couples of $19,500. This causes line 6 to change, reducing his taxable income to $41,500. The next change comes in line 10, where Bill's new tax is calculated using an adjusted tax table for married couples. With this change, Bill's tax is $5,332.50. And when all is done, Bill's final tax that he owes to government is $332.50. Now as promised, we're going to go into greater detail about marginal tax rates and how to find them. Bill's taxable income is $51,250. To explain how marginal taxes work, we'll be using this diagram. Here we see the first increment is about $9,000. This is taxed at a rate of 10%. The next bracket, up to $36,000, is taxed at 15%. The last bracket that affects Bill is at a rate of 25%. Since Bill makes more than $36,000 and less than $87,000, we take the difference giving us his income tax at 25%. Bill's income between $36,000 and $9,000 gives him a difference of $27,000, which is taxed at a rate of 15%. His last $8,000 are taxed at a rate of 10%. Adding these up, we have a grand total of $8,741.25. So there you have it. That's all you need to know to file your 1040 easy forms. I'm John Marqueo. And Lauren Burke. Stay classy.